Day three. No water? Oh, you can chug as much water as you need. So what we've learned here, kids, is never listen to strangers. What gets you back on the saddle? In my adult life, just stress, work, and I wanted to stay in shape. Beautiful bridges, beautiful people. This is the only rag ride tire I would get. But I saw it and it had to, and God damn, I'm happy I did. Ole, 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 ole. Mason Dixon live. Here we go, surfing through. I did a whole tunnel. Five of my best <laughs> friends right here. Yeah. yeah. We got the gap trail done. We are on to the CNO. Lunch was good. Something that's always a luxury when you're out here bike packing, bike touring, is Paris is living luxury right now. He's got an air pad, a pillow, a roof, a roof. <laughs> <laughs> you got a blanket. Day three, we are almost to the top of the East Divide. Paris, how you feeling so far? Feeling good. Uh... 80%? 80%? Yeah, I feel about 75 right now. I had a pretty rough day yesterday, but I I accomplished it. I took like an hour nap and somehow was only about an hour behind them. So I wasn't doing too far off. But today we are going to finish climbing. We got about 8 to 10 more miles of that. And then we got about 20 miles of downhill to get into Cumberland where we finish the Gap Trail and we start the CNO. When I did the CNO in 2018, it was a mud fest. We're already getting reports that it's about the same. We'll see how it goes, especially with this guy on a single speed. We just saw another lady uh, riding with her family, uh, husband and daughter, and she was riding at a single speed. People on single speeds are beasts. Oh, your reflections in the mirror there. Yeah, there you go. Uh, what are you talking about? I, I look perfect, nice and green. Thank you, man. Oh, oh, thank you, my hero. Yeah. Ugh. Oh. Uh, oh, you're going to be on? Yeah. <laughs> Don't forget Miss Gail now. After a glorious breakfast, I think we are ready to get rolling. Are we ready? Uh, always ready. Team Misfits, are we ready to get going? It was a pleasure. All right, we're ready. To... Yes. Thank you, it's already paid. Yeah. All right. Man, I'm not going to be hungry again for another 20 minutes. That's... I can't wait to come back. Oh, you will. Oh, absolutely. Oh. All right, rocking back to the bikes. Have a good day. One time, one overnight. And getting back on the bike because she, she bonked out at Ragbri. This man's done it all. He got he got no records left to break. <laughs> oh, I always got records to break. I like your brim. Thank you. I, I, was I know. I want them so before. bad. I was like, Definitely wow. check them out. They're awesome. Nice. The brim. I want the brim. Oh, who can who can survive? <laughs> No water? Oh, you can chug as much water as you need. Makes the worst. Don't do it. Okay. To the trail. Good trail. Three, two, one. Enjoy. Don't chew it. What are you guys thinking? Look, there you go. You can't spit it out. That was bad. We got a stone cold over here. She ain't budging. So what we've learned here, kids, is you never need, listen to strangers. Water? You need water. <laughs> yes, drink water. I got Neil with me. Neil, how you doing, bud? Doing great. It's a beautiful day. It's a great day out. Yeah. How long have you been on the trail to now? I think this is day 13. Going up to McKeesport, took the connector out to the Montour Trail, rode out to the Montour Trail to the Panhandle, West Virginia, and stayed overnight there. Rode up to the east end of the trail to Walker's Mill, back to the Montour, up to the Heritage Trail, and then back down to the Gap and stayed at the Bravo campsite. That was a hundred mile day. Wow. How long have you been riding bikes? Since I was 13, I did my first 1200 mile bike trip then. <laughs> really? Yeah. And you've been riding since? Riding since. What kept you back on the saddle? In my adult life, just stress, work, 
and I wanted to stay in shape. So I beat the snot out of the pedals to get rid of my stress and stay in shape at the same time. I love it too, I get that. So what are you riding on this tour? What bike do you have here? 2018 Salsa Journeyman. It's a nice little ride. How many speeds? I think it's a one by 11. I see you got some of the aero pack. Did you get that because of Doozer? I did. Great setup, it really is. Neil's not on social media, yeah. but at all. But somehow he found us. Power of technology, even without social media. Yep. Pretty cool stuff. That's a beautiful bridge. Beautiful bridges, beautiful people. Beautiful bikes. Oh, look at those beautiful priority bicycles. At least we made it more than two miles this time. Two and a half. I'm not huge into rag rides attire. This is the only rag ride attire I would get. But I saw it and had to, and God damn, I'm happy I did. <laughs> you get a lot of compliments on it. It's a good shirt. Good shirt, comfortable shirt. It's the bike husker, and man, everybody loves it. And you can pick me out of a crowd. Oh yeah, you can. <laughs> I've ridden with a lot of people. I usually don't have a problem keeping up, or Sticking back with people. I'm not used to being last, but I'm okay with it. I totally am. But it feels really good I have to be with people that I feel at home with, that are encouraging me, being supportive. It almost feels like a reflection. Like it's the way I treat people, I feel like. It's really good to feel that way back. Picking it one pedal at a time. I feel a lot better than I did yesterday. Staying more consistent. I was stuck in slow mode yesterday we're getting close to the top of the east divide we got some cool things to go through i really think it's the longest tunnel i've ever biked through it's gonna be fun so, yes yeah, eastern is. continental divide yeah. it all ends up in the atlantic so it doesn't matter are we gonna olay always olay Hey, it's nothing but downhill from here, boys and girls. Not as cool as the Great Divide, but we are at the Eastern Continental Divide. The water either ends up in Mexico, the Gulf of Mexico or Chesapeake Bay, which is goes to the Atlantic. We started all the way here at the 150 mile mark. We continued all the way up this. We went all the way up. We kept going. We started doing some good climbing all the way to the 24 mile mark. We are at 2392, just under 2400 feet, at the highest point, and now we have to go downhill for 24 miles. More than about 600 feet. Gap snap for the wind. Gap snap. You taking a picture of gap snap? I was slow because we were climbing. It wasn't too far off. Speed even down now. Everybody ready? Continental Eastern Divide! Ah, yeah! What a beautiful Wednesday! Put your sunglasses away, get your lights on! We're about to go through Big Salvage! Surfing 
It's dark in here. You were like burning some together we appreciate you coming out of the tunnel you you come about 100 200 feet away from the end of the tunnel and you get this the mason dixon line and each year they would do a different path right what do you guys think of this breathtaking it's my childhood in one view absolutely yeah. breathtaking oh it's pretty amazing Dude, we are so blessed. Absolutely we are. Amazing. We get to do this. Beautiful. Bill and I and a couple, a couple others are going to do the whole gravel series Carlos got going this season. I got to see what work will do to me, but yeah. Yeah, and I think, oh, they're all like Friday and Saturday starts. They're all one, oh. two, and three day rides. Okay. And then yeah. I think Dan's going to come do the hurricane with us this year. Yeah, if I can keep up, I don't know. I'm slow. Might want to pack a little lighter. Well, hey. Leave some of that shit in the top. We'll see you. <laughs> Dan? See you. It's a pleasure, you brother. Serious, brother. Yeah. Be Grab safe. Enjoy your drive. <laughs> Hugs Be it safe. is. All right, Neil. Appreciate y'all. Appreciate you. Keep in touch. Don't tell your other three best friends. Mason Dixon line. Here we go, surfing through. We did it. Yeah. This is the Mason Dixon line, currently here in Pennsylvania, now in Maryland. How many times have you been in two places at once? I've been in a few. I've also been in four places at once at the four corners. Gordon, 1911. Oh, it's actually a paved road, it's crazy. It makes it so easy to roll. I don't have any lights. They turn on as I go by. They come on because of me, the power. I got the power. <laughs> One more, there it is. I did a whole tunnel. I did. Start to finish. Feeling good on this part. It's all downhill, I'm feeling good. Killing it right now. Cruising at a constant 15. Bikes up! Happy Wednesday! Oh, so good! So good! Happy Wednesday! Whoa, Nelly! Happy Wednesday! <laughs> Happy Wednesday! Twelve more miles to transition from the Gap to the CNO. Pretty little mountain town. Cruising through the tunnel, we are cruising through the tunnel. Staying cool in the tunnel before it gets hot again. Feels nice in those tunnels, that's for sure. Rail cars, they even pedal, pedal rails. Getting to Cumberland. We got just over a mile left of the Gap Trail. Pretty nice. Happy Wednesday.
Happy Wednesday. Happy Wednesday. Make uh, a stranger spot like that. Yeah. Coming on your right. Coming on your right. Happy Wednesday. Gotta get more speed. <sighs> hey, make a gap for a crazy man. Yeah, watch out behind. We got the gap. Yeah. We're on to the sea now. <laughs> get her done, baby. I served, I served a lot. I hope you did. Heck yeah. Gap hugs. That was epic. Dude, we did it. We did it. We're starting the next adventure. Right now. I was here just under six years ago with a group of 18 kids and four adults. And now I'm here with some of my favorite friends, five yeah, of my best baby. friends right here. Yeah. yeah. We got the gap trail done. We are on to the CNO. We got the easy part done, really. So now it's on to the mud fest. Hopefully it's not as muddy as it was last time I was here, but reports have been telling us otherwise. So we get to go check for ourselves. I am excited to see Paris in his white outfit get muddy. <laughs> Dude, I'm always ready for food, but right now, mm, food and beer. More so. Food beer sounds food good. Beer. Food like and beer. Food beer sounds good. Yeah. I like food beer. I like food, ginger beer. Everything that Paris said he wants is here. What'd you I want? I said I wanted a snow cone, I said a smoothie, and root beer. Perfect. So I did my normal routine. I asked for the waitress's uh, choice, and I got a salmon burger with chips. Pretty awesome. How's everybody's food going so far? Great, dude. It's a burger with Excellent. barbecue pork on it, dude. This is awesome. This nice. is perfect. Mm -hmm. Bill's having such a good time, he can't even talk. Mm -hmm. Ryan's quiet. I'm in there. Paris is quiet. I think we're doing pretty good. Lunch was good. So good. There's nothing left. All right, so we just finished one trail. We're about to start another. Guys, what did you guys think of the Gap Trail? Dude, best excellent. Best trail, trail ever. ever. Excellent. Some of the best riding in my life, man. Personally, I think it is definitely one of the well, most well marked out trails. Oh, yeah. yeah for sure. Literally marked at every point. If you start saying, oh crap, there's a split up ahead. I wonder which way we got to go. There's a sign. Zero navigation. You know. You know exactly. Literally didn't have to have navigation at all. It, every intersection, like most of the major intersections even had yeah, like, yeah. distances yeah, from each way. Yeah. So, turn here, turn there. Any uh, highlights that you guys want to point out to everybody for the Gap Trail? The, the whole miles. downhill from the divide. All of today. All, all of today, all amazing. Of today. The uphill, the down, the, all the downhill. Everything. All the, the towns views, the were tunnels. amazing. Yeah, the tunnels the were, I, I hey, the, the tunnels were the, way better this time than the last time I came here. There was no lights in Big Savage when I was Yeah, there. the lights in the tunnels was kind of a nice treat. You know? I love yeah, the art sure. coming through. Yeah, that too. All the, yeah, the murals, all the art. We got these two crazy fools. My favorite part was the downhill. My second favorite part was just the camping. My least favorite part was the climbing. Well, it that was forever. the first two days. It took forever. Hey, one pedal at a time. That's it, man. Honestly, uh, I saw real cows. Yo, the cows. He he said he saw real cows. When he means real cows, he means the black and white like dairy cows. He's only seen them on TV. He's only he's like, dude, those are white cows that they paint dots on, probably. So far, my favorite town has to be Pittsburgh. Yeah. I really Pittsburgh is a beautiful, beautiful place. It's fun. A lot of life, uh, very green and uh, friendly, clean. What's your guys' expectation for the CNO? Mud. Dry. <laughs> Paris is hoping for dry, aren't you, Paris? Yes. You hoping for dry? I'm I saw you change your shirt this morning. You were wearing white. Yeah. Look at those white shoes. On the road again. On the on the dock. The Cumberland tow path boat. These are the style boats that they would pull down this canal, loaded with supplies. We're playing the part of the oxen. Yes. My legs need to warm up. Got the river to our right. 
Hey, the river's going with us. That means we're going downhill. Mostly, but not really. Happy Wednesday. Happy Wednesday, guys. This looks like it just got moved today or yesterday. <laughs> yeah, yeah, probably for the first few miles. I'm ready for this The reclaimed water plant. <laughs> so you know, we're only five miles into it. It's totally a different trail than what we just did on the gap. Totally different. Happy Wednesday. Happy Wednesday! We are here at the Lock 75's Housekeeper's Station and in front of us we have the Lock which brought you from that height filled this up spit you out at that height old engineering that we still use today in Lake Erie one of my favorite, if not favorite, trails to ride. The Erie Canal Trail. Okay. This is for Sean and Mary. Ole, 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 ole. Mosquito heaven. Okay. All right. I'm slowing down. It's already nicer than last time I did it. Yeah. Happy Wednesday. How's it going? Happy Wednesday. Happy Wednesday. Another lockdown. 70 more to go. Our favorite lock. Pretty awesome how these two trails, Gap and the CNO, ultimately connect in Cumberland. But the differences between the both is phenomenally opposite. It's like the CNO has gotten a lot better since the last time I've done it. Uh, I did it in 2018. It did not look like this. This is a lot nicer. Got some turtles sunbathing, little guy on that one. Two bigger ones over here, looking good. It doesn't seem bothered by me being here. Happy Wednesday. Wednesday. 
I am in West Virginia for the first time since 2018 when I came through here. It's the only state of the 48 states that I do not sleep in. We are in West Virginia. Pa pa. So we're treating tonight with Ryan because it's a successful night, a multi night of uh, being on uh, his ride, our ride. So we got this cabin that we're gonna share. We got four people on bed. We'll have two people on mattresses, air mattresses. It'll be nice. Hey, this, this place is pretty cool. It's got the canal <laughs> cabins. That's where we're staying tonight here in Paw Paw, uh, West Virginia. This will be my first night sleeping in West Virginia. When I did this journey of uh, the lower 48 states, this is the only state I did not sleep in. Uh, so I feel like this is redemption. I feel like yeah, this man. Redemption. This completes your journey. But what's cool about this place is they got a closed bike wash station. So I'm going to rinse off the bike since we've had too much dust on it. Watch the trail come off of it. What are you being by a black bike? What? Am I Like a new bike. This one rinse. Maybe we can drag guys to dry it out. Well, I learned today this bag is not wide. Maybe we like it, baby. Not all bags are easy. Okay. 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 Something that's always a luxury when you're out here bike packing, bike touring, is laundry rooms. So we're using the laundry because that's what's here. We got a load in the dryer already. We got a load in the wash. We're gonna be fresh and clean, ready to like restarting this journey. It's gonna be pretty nice. Canal cabins, Paw Paw, West Virginia. I got earplugs in tonight. I got uh, cotton balls because we're hanging out with Bill. Paris is living luxury right now. He's got an air pad, a pillow, a roof, a roof. <laughs> <laughs> you got a blanket. But we uh, we're we're cramming in here. We're making it work. The porch, dude. <laughs> yeah. All right. I also can if you really want to. Okay. Like, Paris is the most relaxed person. I've right. Ever. Right. Yeah. When you guys were fighting over bunks, I was like. I just hope I can get a place on the porch. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody was fighting you on that. <laughs> <laughs>